Jim Kilmarnock this weekend, what's your thoughts heading into that one after last week's see that disappointment with the, the late goal going out against Motherwell? Um, yeah, I mean, I thought the overall performance against Motherwell was uh, was fairly good, to be honest. And um, you know, when we got the equaliser, I felt we were in the ascendancy and looked as if anybody was going to go and win the game. It would have been ourselves. But look, we shot ourselves in the foot on the night. Um, you know, a, a poor decision, obviously leading to the penalty kick, which ultimately won Motherwell the game. But we've actually, you know, we've been playing um, well for you know majority of the season, and we're on a yeah, in the league, obviously, we've had that one defeat to, to Rangers, again, in a very tight fixture. Um, but, you know, I, I think we've got to approach the Kamarna game in a in a positive mindset. You know, it's always a difficult game there, uh, away from home. Um, you know, Derek McInnes' teams are always very well organised and hard-working. I was at their game against uh, St Mirren last time out. And um, I thought they were really good on the day, and you know, played a lot of the game with uh, with ten men, and um, you know, deservedly took something from the game on the day. So it's going to be difficult. We know that, but um, you know, our boys are in a in a good place, albeit off the back of a a couple of tight defeats. Given the the nature of the, the Motherwell game, how late that goal was, have you had to to pick any players up this week, or have they been able to do that themselves? Well, look, I mean, there was obvious disappointment after the game. Um, you know, I think I said myself, you know, it was as low as I can remember feeling for a long time after a result. Um, in the build-up to the game, we didn't feel there was a great deal between either team. And, you know, Stuart Kettlewell felt as much as well in his po uh, pre-match uh, press conference. Um, not a great deal separating either team in the league. And, you know, these games are often decided by small margins and that's what happened last Friday. You know, it was... It took a penalty kick to beat us and, um, you know, fair play to Motherwell, they, they're through and we wish them well in the next round. But, um, you know, when we came back into training on Monday, the boys were back on it and, you know, knew what was at stake. And it's it's about how you react to these disappointing situations that shows the, the character within the group. So we've had a great week's training. Um, you know, the boys are really looking forward to the weekend and hopefully get back to winning ways. Louis Malt scored in that game. Is he knocking on the door for a starting place? Well, we've got a number of you know good players within the squad that um, haven't had the kind of minutes that they would have hoped for up to now. But that's purely been down to um, the good run of form that the that the eleven players have that have got the jersey have, have been doing. But obviously, uh, we're now coming into this game off the back of a a couple of defeats, and um, you know there is um, that there is options there for me if I decide to make any changes and um, you know we finished the game really positively as I said apart from the penalty obviously but you know we played really really well in the second half and um, you know that change of shape certainly worked. You talked about the, the options that you've got I mean, we're just hearing from another striker in, in Europe just uh, earlier this afternoon do, do you see it as as, as a I suppose a, a one kind of like battle as such for them to start or or, or could you maybe even see them playing together at some point this season? Oh, definitely. I can see, you know, we've got options within the squad, you know, to play with a lone striker, to play with two. Um, you know, we've got good flexibility within the group where we can change system uh, prior to a game or, or during a game. So, um, you know, the whole thing about the recruitment process is to make sure that you build good strength and depth and I think we've done that this season I think we've got really good options right across the board now we've got really good competition for places and um, you know the players who are in the team know that they need to perform to make sure that they keep the jersey and those guys who are coming on as substitutes in the games have to make an impact and I think we've seen that you know even when I think back to the Hearts game at Tynecastle uh, you know we were winning 1-0 and um, and we made you know a couple of changes tactically and we finished the game really really strongly and the guys who came on at that stage of the game were excellent so it's important that we have got that strength and depth and it's it's worked really well for us up to now you know we've had a, a good positive start to the league and um you know we're hoping to build on that this weekend against Kilmarnock. and things can obviously change very quickly you know going from having that good start to the season um still things going well but you kind of touched on the two defeats uh, have you had any thoughts in your mind or, or any conversations you've had a, about staff about the importance of, of not going on a, a consecutive run of defeats and maybe the significance of you know getting something from, from the game against Kelly this weekend? Yeah, I mean, I think it's important to um, you know put both defeats into isolation as well, you know, and I think it's important to analyse them. And you know, um, in the game against Rangers, there was you know very little in the game in terms of you know overall 
penalty area action. Uh, we certainly didn't do enough on the day to to win the game, but on another day we might have took a point from it. And then, as we spoke about, the game against Motherwell last Friday night, it, it was in the balance. It could have went uh, either way, and unfortunately we found ourselves um, you know, on the wrong end of the result. But you know, it would be more... Uh, concerning if those two defeats had came off the back of two really poor performances, I think you know we're looking for consistency within the group, consistency to how we want to play, and I think we're seeing that. You know, and I think um, as I said, you know we've got really good options now within the group, and um, you know the good teams bounce back, and I think that's the most important thing for me. You know, seeing a real positive reaction on Monday morning after the the defeat last Friday was 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 really good to see and. Um, yeah, gives you gives you hope looking forward the the character that we have within the group. Finally, from myself, team news for this weekend. Yeah, we're in a good place. Uh, everybody's fit, and um, you know everybody's chomping at the bit to to get a place in that starting eleven. Good stuff. Thanks. It's a little bit unfortunate the way that the fixtures have run with the three UA games all coming at once. Is that something that you've just really got to you know put behind you and focus on? Next time we're back at Tannis, it'll be the 19th, but we need to get these games done and focus on from there. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, when the, the fixtures come out at the start of the season, you know, of course, you're having a look at those, um, you know, moments where um, you've got a difficult run of fixtures or, you know, you've got lots of away games back to back. And this, you know, with the cup game happens to be one of those situations. I mean, you know, as a group, we love playing at home in front of our own supporters, but, um, you know, the away games, I suppose there's more pressure on the home team, um, you know, and we can approach the game slightly differently. But, um, you know, it's just part and parcel of the game. It's the way things are. You know, we won't be back at our own uh, stadium until after the international break now at this point. But, um, you know, we've been really good on the road. We've picked up some positive results up to now. And, um, you know, we hope to continue that against Kamara. Is this where it could benefit Dundee United in such a way that the pressure of being at home in front of the home support comes to fruition because you've got two away games where the, the United support will be in a very compact area, obviously, be very noisy, and obviously the opportunity for the pressure to be up on? Uh, well, I think the players have shown already in, in the, the home fixtures how much they enjoy playing there. You know, um, you know there is no added pressure. We, we, we really... You know the players feed off the energy that the supporters bring, and I think we saw that in the Dundee game and in the win against St Johnston. Um, so you know we know how good we can be at home, but you know travelling on the road, our own supporters always travelling good numbers. We'll have a, a really good travelling support there on Saturday, and um, you know they've always got behind the team, and and we hope that we give them a, a good performance to you know get excited about. It. In years gone by, the artificial surface at Kilmarnock might have caused a bit more of a problem than it does now, but the players that you have in your squad, most of them must just be acting like it's second nature now. Uh, look, I mean, a lot has been mentioned about, you know, the, the Kilmarnock pitch and, um, you know, an astral turf pitches in general. You know, I, I'm a... I think Derek McInnes would have a similar opinion to myself that we all prefer to play on a nice grass surface. I'm pretty sure the majority of the Kamarna players would say the same as well. But it's not something that we've given a great deal of thought to this week in our preparations to the game. You know, it's it's um, the surface is what it is. You know, there's no excuses from our end. We just have to go there and adapt and and make sure that we put on a good performance. And as you just mentioned already about Derek McInnes, he's very organised and, and how he puts things into place. Does that? give extra work for you this week to, to kind of think about how he's going to approach it so that you can combat? He's a manager I've got a huge amount of respect for, you know, in, in the work that he's done uh, up to now as manager. Um, you know, he was extremely consistent during his time up at Aberdeen. Um, and obviously the work that he's done at Kilmarnock in sh such a short period of time, getting them promoted out of the Championship to then having that European campaign this season. I think is remarkable, really, and um, you know what you're going to get with a Derek McInnes team. It's going to be organised. Um, you know the hard-working group of players that he's got there at Kilmarnock always give him everything, and we have to match that. You know we have to do the basics well on Saturday. We have to be aggressive. We have to compete with the physicality that Kilmarnock have got, um, knowing that you know Derek is going to have them well organised behind the ball. You mentioned the international break that's coming along and. For Dundee United, that's now becoming a, a more relevant subject because you've got more and more players getting international recognition. What 
benefits did Dundee United get from players being involved at that kind of level and going away to, to play different matches at different places? Well, I think that's the, the calibre of player that we want to be bringing to the club consistently. You know, players who are involved in the international setup. You know, when those players are away with their countries, um, you know, the Dundee United badge is the one that pops up next to their names. And, um, you know, I think it's a proud moment for the club. I think it's great recognition for the hard work that we're doing here as a team. Uh, those players wouldn't be getting that international recognition, you know, were the team not doing as well as what it's doing. Um, you know, we're sitting in a good position in the league at the moment. Um, you know, those players need to perform individually, obviously, but as a team, collectively, we need to make sure that we keep picking up positive results. And, um, you know, Saturday, extremely difficult opposition at a difficult ground, but, you know, we want to try and keep ourselves in the top half of this table for as long as possible. And uh, to do that, we're going to have to try and win the game on Saturday.